Hey, welcome to another Dennis Kirk Tech Tip here in the Swap Motor Live Garage. So what we have here in front of us is a 2023 Works Edition CR450R. Um, you can see there's no numbers on the bike. Dirt bikers all wanna have a number, so they're identifiable whether they race or not. You know, like guys, I always tease people that don't race. I go, look at those decorations on your number plates. But uh, anyway, um, thanks to uh, a wide variety of companies that make uh, custom graphics, uh, both motocross bikes, off-road bikes, dual sport bikes, even adventure bikes are easily customizable. Um, Dennis Kirk stocks a large variety of aftermarket graphics from people like Factory Effects and Decor. Um, so we're gonna give this Honda a little more style, a little bit of number plate action, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's a lot less daunting than you might think. Uh, it just takes a little patience and a little technique. Okay, so the things you're gonna need, obviously, are a graphic kit, uh, a heat gun, a rag, a uh, ratchet or T-handle to take the seat off, and a can of contact cleaner. We like to use Maxima contact cleaner, as it smells good, doesn't leave a lot of residue behind. Um, the heat gun is a plus. You could also use a hair dryer, or if you have neither, like say if everyone in your family is bald, you can do this outside on a sunny day if you just leave the graphics out in the sun first to soften up. The first thing you wanna do is prep the bike. Um, this particular test bike has been in the possession of one of our test riders, Brian Smith, AKA Scrub Daddy. So that being said, the whole bike is covered with silicone spray to make it look shiny. So you gotta get that kind of stuff off, get the mud off. So uh, without, without really having to say it, you need to wash the bike and make sure it's clean before you uh, set out to a uh, graphics adventure. So I like to take the seat off because some of the graphic pieces are going to go actually beneath the seat, like uh, the radiator shroud piece here and the top of the side panels. So once we get the bolts out, I swear I've done that before, take the seat off. Handy dandy rag, Maxima contact cleaner, all the places where the stickers are gonna be attached, give it a quick little rub down to make sure it is free of residue and uh, stuff like silicone spray. Okay, so for the purpose of time, we're not gonna do the whole bike. I'm gonna show you the easiest part, which is the front plate, semi-difficult part, which would be the shroud, and the most daunting part, which would be the side panel that is bowed out over the exhaust pipe. So um, all are pretty easy if you have the right technique, not too tough to do. Be patient and don't be afraid to peel your uh, graphic up and start over again. So we'll start off by uh, heating up the front plate. Front plate's pretty easy because it's flat. Again, you don't want to get it too close because it'll burn it. Just soft, soft enough to uh, ease the installation a little bit. So what I always like to do is I start from the corner, peel the backing back, and fold it. So there you go like that. Line it up. Line up the bolt hole. Hold your finger on the top. Looks all good. Set it down and then push against where the paper is folded. So we got the top corner done, and then ease your way down from there, in the center. As you're doing it, you wanna make sure that you're not catching any air bubbles. If you do, peel it back up, put it back down. So uh, the front plate is relatively flat, couple of angular bends in it, so you wanna go along those. Rub your hand along the edge to make sure it's down. If it's kind of cold, if you're doing this during the winter at night, you might want to go around the edges with the heat gun, but uh, there you go. Perfect, I can't wait to roost this front number plate off of it 
when scrub daddy's riding. So the difficult thing about this is if you look at the shroud, there's all these cutouts, plus the notches for the bolts that you have to line up. Um, again, not too hard. It's relatively flat surface. You just need to figure out where the graphic is before you push it down the first time. Oh, this is another tip. If you're doing this in the winter, if you live somewhere where you're snowed in or something, it also helps to warm up the plastic as well because uh, applying a warm graphic to a nice cold surface doesn't work out too well. So in the case of the Honda here, I think these two holes are the most critical line up. Peel back the front corner, about that much. So I'll line up the parts that are most critical, the top hole. If you look down, it looks like the bottom is lined up and the back looks good as well. So make sure it doesn't move. Push forward, get the adhesive fixed a little bit. Look at the rest of it, if it lines up, press down along your fold. At this point, well, I've been doing graphics for years. I'd say it's safe to pull off the rest of the backing. You gotta make sure that the graphic doesn't touch itself and stick to itself. You wanna go down towards the holes. So you see it's not lining up. You can pull it back up and coax it into the proper position easily enough. To keep this from sticking to itself, I kinda like temporarily put it down. So you can see that the uh, bottom half of the graphic is perfectly lined up with the hole. So that's when we take this apart and start doing the top. On the bottom. Always work your way around the edges of a cutout outward. Okay, so see right here, I don't know if the camera can show it, but there's a little ripple. You don't wanna just smash the ripple up because that's when you get a fold or a, uh, a wave and so it looks like lasagna. I know somebody that every time he puts graphics on makes me wanna go to Olive Garden and get lasagna. He also rides this bike. So you take little bites out of the ripple There you go. Right here is where the heat gun comes in handy. Like you think that might be a problem area that would rise up. You kind of cook the adhesive down and uh, make sure it doesn't come back up. So now we have about this much of the graphic perfectly installed. I'll pull it up a little here. Work around the hole. Bring it towards the rear. There you go. So I have the center affixed and then you work your way up. Fold the edges over that go beneath the seat. Pretty good. Okay, so the side panel, the exhaust pipe side, usually has a little curve in it. So like the older Hondas that have the twin pipe, nightmare, right? Because you have one on the right, one on the left. But uh, modern bikes have gotten a little bit better. It's flatter more angular instead of curved. So again, the two things are gonna line up here are the two holes. <clears throat> Start warming it up. It's a little hot in Southern California right now, so it doesn't need a whole lot of coaxing. So what I'm gonna do is pull it back past the first hole. Fold it down, about like that. So I'll hold this here over the rear and get the other hole lined up. Looks good, push it down, push down the adhesive against the fold, forward, and pull the rest of the backing off. So this one right here, you can look, it's got a bend right here, and then a crease here. So this area needs to be worked in, and this might present a challenge where we need the heat gun. So we'll push it up in the crease, I want to make sure that the hole lines up. 
as you can see, you can pull it back up to make sure things are going properly. Okay, so you can see there's a little air bubble there. What you do is pull it back, work it out. You don't wanna keep a bubble in there because in this instance, there would be more air in the graphic than the scrub daddy catches on the track. So, gotta keep it flat. So you can see right here, the graphic is starting to resist adhesion. So this is where the heat gun comes in handy. Get it a little bit soft, pliable. Get it right into that crease. One thing you don't wanna do is heat it up too much. That's when it gets the wrinkles. Once you crease a graphic, it kinda is hard to bring it back. So that's what you wanna avoid. Don't force it, be patient, be deliberate with your uh, adhesion. So there we go. We can uh, think about the parts that were the toughest to get down and uh, really get them cooked on with the heat gun. Again, sometimes this is a problem area for graphics because that's where the boot rubs. So it doesn't hurt to uh, give that a little extra heat to make sure it's stuck down. So the rest of the bike is kind of uh, self-explanatory. Rear fender's flat, easy to do. Fork guards, a little bit curved, but those are plenty easy to put on, so. Tips, take your time, line things up before you push down, and uh, don't be afraid to peel the graphic back and reinstall it. Good luck. Thanks for uh, checking out this week's Dennis Kirk Tech Tip, and uh, again, Plenty of aftermarket graphics available online.